Hey ladies and gents, and welcome back. Today we're doing something a little different. We are doing a little shoe. Now when I talk about a little shoe, let me show you. This is the little shoe. I don't know if I can, look. See how tiny that little shoe is? Not like I'm a massive dude, but you know, look. So that's the little shoe. Now, I was going through all of the shoes that we have on our shelves that you guys have sent in, and I was trying to find something unique, something different that we haven't done a lot of, when all of a sudden my eyes caught the little shoe. And really, it is a woman's shoe, I think. Uh, it had a lady's name on there, and it was either a size four or size five, quite little in comparison to most of the shoes and the boots that we're doing each week. So I was like, you know what? Let's just have fun with these. It's such a tiny foot and it would be fun, it's something different. So we're gonna take these out into the shop, we're gonna give them an overhaul. They're not in bad shape, they just need a basic resole. So it's nothing mind blowing, but it'll be fun. Okay, today we're doing, again, this little pair of Cole Hans. I just thought it would be fun. It's actually a really simple resole, but it's such a tiny little shoe and you know, it's just, it's a mix. It's something different than we've done before. So let's get to uh, taking off these shoes. And also I have a pretty cool little story about Kohan. So this is normally the uh, last or the, uh, the anvil we use. Obviously it's not gonna fit on this one. So let's change this out. All right, that'll work. So a quick story on Kohan's. Obviously, you know, I'm not a big fan of them now, but back in the day, Cole Haan used to make a lot of their shoes in the US and they were made fairly well. So when Heath and I were in middle school, our dad got stationed to an Air Force base in Oklahoma. And I remember at that middle school, all of the really popular kids were very preppy in the way they dressed. So what I mean by that, you know, Ralph Lauren Polo was big at the time, all the little polo shirts, and all of the kids had these, you know, types of Kohans that had the tassels on it. Some of them had the ones that had the little buckle over here. But, you know, our parents would not buy those for us, uh, which as a parent now, I totally understand. You don't want to spoil kids too much. So Heath and I had to settle for the off brands, you know, like Dexter and Knights of the Round Table. All right, you can obviously see that a half sole was done to these originally. There's the original sole, and then a half sole was done at some point. So we're gonna get all of this off and put a nice full sole back onto them. Okay, so this is the sole leather that we're gonna use for this pair of shoes. Now, if you're in the shoe world, you've obviously heard the news over the past few weeks that JR Leather has closed their doors. Now, what the future holds for JR, we don't quite know. Uh, we will see what happens, but some of you guys have asked, what's a great alternative? Well, Baker Leather out of England is another leather that we carry, and it's another great option, so keep your eye on Baker Leather.
So one of the things I just wanted to point out, when this original sole was put on, it actually was just glued on. Uh, you see the stitches here. Those are original, but they actually were not usable stitches, as you can see here. This is all a faux stitch. So what we did is we actually stitched the sole on, and then we went ahead and carried it all the way to the back, and that way it just helps to hold that heel on and doesn't just rely on the nails that'll go through here. So a lot of times we'll do that on a Blake stitch, but just wanted to point that out. So one of the questions we've been getting a lot lately is why do you guys hold the hammer so close to the head instead of down here? And really, it just depends upon the shoe. So for example, you see how small that little nail is. And I'm just trying to hit it into the heel of the shoe. So I don't need a lot of, you know, a lot of power behind it. I'm, I'm trying to aim for accuracy more than power. But show you an example. So this one is a much lighter hammer. This one has a lot of weight up here on the head. So when I'm using this one to tap in nails, maybe into from the inside into the heel block, I do hold it down here because again, it's a much lighter hammer and it's not putting as much power behind it. So again, it just really depends on what we're hitting. It depends on what hammer we're using. And there's the answer. Okay guys, shoes have been resold. Last thing we're gonna do as always is just put a little conditioner on here. Now, I don't know what it is lately. We've been getting a lot of oiled leathers, which again is what this is. So it's gonna be really simple. Just gonna put some oiled leather cream on there. And then I'm gonna touch up the uh, sides of the heels and the edges of the soles with just a little brown wax to bring out the shine. And then we'll be all set. Now when you're using this stuff, you can either put it, you know, like a, use a glove or whatever on your hand, or you can use a soft cloth and put a little bit on there. And then you just want to work it into the leather and let it absorb. Then you can just simply buff it off and that's about all you have to do. So we'll let this sit for a few minutes and then we're all done. Okay, ladies and gents, we have wrapped up this pair of shoes. Now, again, this was a just a little, a little pair of shoes. I actually enjoyed it. I, this was probably one of the easiest resoles that I've done in a while. A lot of times they are large task. It takes a while, especially the bigger the foot, the bigger the project a lot of times. So this was really, really easy, a very basic resole. So as you saw before, these had half soles on it. She had apparently taken them to other cobblers. They just put half soles, probably changed out the heel pads. So we got rid of all of that. We stripped everything down and we put on Baker leather uh, soles, which again are a pit tan leather, very similar to JR. These just come from England as opposed to Germany. Uh, we put on Vibram heel pads. Um, they were oil tan leather, so we just put a little oil cream on there. It was a very, very basic resole. Nothing, nothing too complicated, but again, it was fun. Before I go, guys, if you would, please give us a big thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up button right down below if you enjoyed this video. If you are not subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscription button down below and hit that notification bell so that YouTube notifies you every time one of our videos posts. 
Also, check out our website, potterandsons.com, as well as southernpolish.com. And uh, hey, Christmas is right around the corner. Make sure you are giving our websites a look. We would really, really appreciate it. It helps everything you see here stay up and running. Okay, guys, thanks so much for joining. And until next time, y'all have a good one.